calculating the standard normal distribution probabilities using the Casio FX 570MS is quite easy. For example, I have this question. Find the probability that the set score is less than 2. So, I would first illustrate the area that I'm interested in. We have a standard normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. 2 lies somewhere here and less than would be the area on my left hand side. So to find the standard normal probabilities, I would go to mode, press mode twice, select one for SD, press shift three, and I would choose one to find the probability that set is less than any value. Okay, so if you have the normal distribution illustration, the areas on your left hand side would always be P. So I would choose 1 for P and enter 2. So this is equals to P of 2 and the probability is 0 0.97725. Now, what if I would like to find the probability that Z is greater than 2? Okay, so illustrating that question, 2 is right here, 0 greater than would be the area on my right hand side. Okay. Using the calculator, I would press shift 3 again. To find the area on my right hand side, I would choose R. Okay, or to calculate the probabilities that Z is greater than any value, I would always choose R. This is equals to R of 2. And the answer is 0 0.02275. Now, what if my question is to find the probability that Z is between 0 and 2? Okay, to illustrate the question, 0 would be right here and 2 is here. Shift 3 again. I would choose Q to find the area where z is between 0 and any value okay so this is equals to q2 and the answer is 0 0.47725 similarly i could look for the area between between minus 2 and 0 okay so the probability that Z is between minus 2 and 0 would be equals to Q of minus 2 so shift 3 again I'm selecting Q minus 2 gives me 0 0.47725 which is similar to the probability over here and now you could see that if i want to find the probability that z is between a negative value and a positive value i could definitely use q by adding up q of minus 2 plus q of 2 okay so q of minus 2 would be the part on my left hand side q of 2 would be the area on my right hand side and that is equals to 0 
0.47725 so I simply multiply my answer with 2 and I get the answer as 0 0.9545 So in reality, I could choose to answer this question using QOR. For example, to find the probability of Z less than 2, okay, I could take 1 as a total probability minus the probability of Z greater than 2. And this would be 1 minus R2. Okay, and my answer would be 1 minus shift distribution, choose R, 2. The answer would be similar to the one above. I could also use Q to answer this question by taking half of the probability okay this half of the probability or half of the area would actually be 0 0.5 so the probability of z less than 2 is 0 0.5 plus the area on my right hand side here would actually be Q of 2. Okay, and I would get the similar answer 0 0.5 plus shift 3. I'm selecting Q of 2. The answer would be similar to the ones that I've obtained previously. And to find the probability of Z greater than 2, I could also use P by taking 1 minus P of 2. Okay, so this is P of 2. 1 total probability minus P of 2 would give me this answer. Okay, so 1 minus shift 3. I'm selecting P of 2. Okay, the answer is similar to the one we got just now. I could also use Q. Okay, to do that, I would have to consider half of the area here. Okay. The one in yellow, which is 0 0.5, and I'm minus with the one in red. Okay. okay, the one in yellow minus the one in red would give me the one in black. So 0 0.5 minus Q2 shift three select Q2 and the answer is 0 0.02275 okay so with any questions you can always use P or Q or R and it's always easier when we illustrate a question what about this question here in order to find the probability that Z is between minus 2 and 2 using P, okay, so the probability that Z is between minus 2 and 2 using P, I would simply take the probability of Z less than 2 minus the probability of Z less than negative. So that would be the area on my left hand side. 
see the one in yellow is P2 okay minus the one in red is P negative 2 and the answer P2 minus P negative 2 is 0 0.9545 and similarly I could also choose to use R so now I would look at the area on my left hand side that would be the opposite of what I have here so I would take R of minus 2 minus r of 2 okay r of minus 2 would be the one in yellow minus r of 2 r of 2 would be the one in red and so i have the one in the middle here so shift 3 I'm going to choose R of minus 2 minus R of 2. Okay, and the answer here is similar to the ones that we have calculated before.